Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verses 1 through 11, where it is written. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume, but Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. The next day, the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was coming into Jerusalem. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So, Mary anoints our Lord with perfume, preparing for his burial. And that's, again, the thing that's so jarring. Jesus Christ is the Almighty God. God is coming to humanity to show us the way. People are rightfully excited. And people have these ideas of glory. Oh, we'll become servants of God. We'll be like God. We'll have, oh, it's almost like we'll be real life. Um, you know, it's like reading the old Superman comics. That's what we'll be like in real life because God is with us. It's all this glory, all this stuff, all, everything that we want. Yes, what we want. It's not how it worked out. How did Jesus fully reveal his love, the love he has for us. Not by doing this great miraculous magic show, but by dying. It didn't it wasn't David Copperfield, it was um, an execution. It looked like it was over. God was dead. But uh, that's a connection to the burial. She anointed his body in preparation for his burial. They came to anoint him again. On Sunday, they come to the tomb. Where is he? They don't see him. They meet a man. Well, it's an angel in human form. It's not Jesus. He lets you know, oh, he's not here. He has risen. They can't be. Once you die, once you die you're dead. That's it. Isn't it? No. Did we forget Jesus Christ is the Almighty God? He's also fully human. He rose again from the dead. He was the first. Now let me qualify that. Other people have been risen, raised from the dead uh, from Scripture, but they died a second time, never to rise again. Our Lord died once, rose again, and now will never die. In that resurrection, our entire species will join him. The entire creation will join him. United to Christ in death, will be united to him again in life. That's that. And for you see, you know, that's what's so powerful. That's, you know, Jesus is legitimate. When he comes, it, it, it's not uh, about personal glory. Oh, everyone could be their own little Roman emperor, be this great, you know. It's not about personal glory. He came in humility. He said, the greatest among you all is your servant. We see his way is not our way. He's not about glory. He's about love, mercy, and forgiveness. And nothing makes it abundantly clear, more abundantly clear than, his, than the cross and the empty tomb in which we all place our hope in. Our hope is centered on that empty tomb. Good to know. Because I think we've seen this trope in popular fiction so many times. People get what they think they want, and they're miserable. They want uh, their everyday life back. I think Jesus Christ has seen more than a few TV shows in his time. He gives us what we really need, what we really want, life, true life in him. 
Let us close with prayer. Lord, you are the source of life. May we never again be separated from you in your resurrection. We live eternally. Thanks be to you, O God. Guide us in you always. Amen.